What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black Walkthrough. Okay, so uh, we beefed up our Pokemon just a little bit, and now it is time to take on the gym leader right here, Lenora of the Saccharine City Gym. She's also a curator for the museum and all that stuff, and, uh, well, she doesn't have normal type Pokemon. We don't really have a fighting type Pokemon, instead... We can go, you know, teach it, or, you know, that kind of stuff. But I'm rambling on. So, here we are going into the ne the next gym. Last, or off screen, we actually uh, beefed up our Pokemon a little, battling all the fighting types and all that stuff, just to get ready for this occasion right here. So, make sure to bring a lot of healing items, awakenings. Make sure to bring awakenings, guys, because she loves to use freaking uh, hypnosis on you. So, let's go right in here, and as you can see, there's somebody looking at this uh, Dragonite skeleton, and this guy's like, wow, whenever I look at this skeleton, um, I'm fascinated. He just looks at us, and he's like, oh, what's up? Welcome, I'm Haas, the assistant director. Since you were kind enough to visit, I'll give you a tour of the museum. Yeah, of course, he's going to give us a tour of the museum, as you can see here. This skeleton is the Dragon-type Pokemon. There's a theory that it it had an ancient or wait, wait this is where I normally fucked up right here. There's a theory that it had an ancient while it was flying around the uh, world and uh, so it became a fossil. Why? How? Wait, I don't get that. I really don't. Okay, so just like just move on, man. Seriously, so you can see there's more fossils. Uh, there's a meteorite right here. This this rock is a, an amazing. It's a meteorite. It contains some kind of energy from space. And, uh, would you look at that? Oh, this, it's an ordinary stone. It was found near the desert, but other than that fact, it's old. It doesn't, uh, seem to have any value. So he thinks. We only display it because rather, or we rather display it because it's rather pretty to look at. This is so true. Very, very true. So, here we go, going up right here, and homeboy's like, and lastly, the Pokemon Gym is just beyond here. Oh, yeah. At the end of the gym, a very strong, kind gym leader is waiting. By the way, the gym leader, Lenora, happens to be my wifey. So be nice to her. I will never be nice. Never. Okay, so let's move on right here. And, uh, yeah, let's take on gym leaders right here. And homeboy, the only man that's ever believed in us, he looks at us. He's like, a Pokemon gym where a leader waits for a challenger at the back of the museum. It's a great atmosphere, doesn't it? So, I will give this to you. We get ourselves a fresh water, which is always nice. All trainers in this area, in this gym use normal type Pokemon. This is just between you and me. Normal type Pokemon are where we are weak against fighting type Pokemon. Around here, fighting type Pokemon show up around Pinwheel Forest. Now I will explain about this gym itself. In this uh, Pokemon gym, if you answer questions hidden in the books, you can move forward. For your information, the first book is Nice to Meet You Pokemon. If you don't know where uh, where the book is, please ask anyone. Okay. So, uh, yeah, this place, uh, kind of a, like a library, going with the museum and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, he does, gives a, he does give us a, uh, a, a water uh, for our troubles right here. As you can see, our Pokemon are well equipped and all that stuff. I trained these Pokemon to their next, uh, well, to the level they, they learn the next move. So, let's go right ahead and just start battling everybody. And Homeboy right here has been waiting for us for quite some time. He's like, I hang around that green gym all the time. People call me a bookworm. I warn you now, I'm as strong because I spend my entire day either reading books or training Pokemon. That doesn't scare me. It does not scare me. So here we go, guys. School Kid Carter would like to battle, and he's going to be coming out with a Patrat. Okay. Bring it, Patrat. You will lose. So here we go. Ace in the hole right here. And hopefully, hopefully he'll, he'll get rid of this guy. So... Uh, you know, in the last episode, we were given the TM-94, which is a Rock Smash. It's a fighting-type move, and we do have the Pokemon that can learn it. Actually, all three of my Pokemon can learn this move, so it's no problem whatsoever. I did give it just to, uh, well, just, just to Ace right here because it has a higher attack rate right here. And, uh, look at that. No more Patrat. All these trainers, normal-type Pokemon. Yeah. Normal-type Pokemon. Annoying. Okay, so let's see. Actually, we gotta ask. We have to ask. My first recommendation is a book called a Nice to Meet You, Pokemon. The bookshelves for children's books are close to the entrance. And if I was not mistaken, it would probably be here on the left side. Uh, children's books. Nice to meet you, Pokemon. Do you want to read this book? Yes. It's a fairy tale about a little boy who met a Pokemon for the first time in his life. He is a small brown Pokemon. And uh, there's a memo between the books. 
Pokemon Trainers. I am Gym Leader Lenora. I hid four memos in this library. Each of them has a question. Can you solve the questions and come find me? Now, this is the first question. What is the first Pokemon you met in this gym? The hint is on a bookshelf in the middle row. Now try and find it. Of course, the first Pokemon we ever met was the Patrat. It's pretty much the first Pokemon we ever see here, aside from Minichino, and I would assume that the girl blocking the way... No, actually, that's the wrong... That's not the, the person right there. That's actually the, the secret entrance that we need to get into, so... It should be right here, in the middle of the bookshelf. Pokemon. The biology of a Patrat. Do you want to read this book? Yes, I do. Okay, they communicate with each other by the movement of their tails. A pat rat raises its tail when it seems, uh, or when it sees an enemy. There's a memo, as I thought. The question was easy. Well, this is the second question. Flame burns inside the body, and it gives off smoke from the head while it runs. What is this book? Somebody may be reading it. Okay, so. At first, when I did this, I thought it was a Tepig, but really it's not. It's talking about a locomotive, so go right ahead and talk to this person right here. And she's like, mm-hmm, I see. Did you find a memo to come here and look for this book? What does the memo say? Flame burns inside its body, and it gives off smoke from the head while it runs. I'm reading a book called The Structure of a Locomotive. Is this the book, uh, is this the book, the, or is this book the correct answer? Yes, it is. Oh, this is correct! Flame burns inside the body and it gives uh, smoke while it, on its head while it runs. That's exactly what a locomotive looks. Well, I'll let you read this book, but before that, it would be great for my research if we had a Pokemon battle. Okay. So, here we go, another Pokemon battle, and this time it's against Scientist Satomi. And she looks like she's ready to kick your butt because she does have the mustachioed herdier right here and I got myself Sigh of the Torrent looking all strong and everything that's right and off screen it did learn Fury Cutter so it, it will come in handy if you guys don't know Fury Cutter actually gets gets power, uh, becomes more powerful every turn it, it, it hurts a Pokemon it becomes more and more and more powerful till the very end and all that stuff it's unstoppable for like three turns or something like that I don't even know so there you go the herdier has fainted eat that oh yes Satomi has been defeated. Okay, so what do you got? Return the book to the shelf after reading this? This is the rule when you read the book. Okay. Whatever. I, I've been to plenty of libraries. General studies. The structure of a locomotive. Do you want to read this book? Yes, I do. Okay. Flame burns inside its body and it gives off smoke from, in the head, from its head while it runs by using steam power. There's a memo behind the book. It's impressive you found this place. That That's what I expect from a challenger like you. Well, this is the third question. If you heat it up on in a pot, it'll be delicious. What is this? Sounds like a poffin right there. Hint. The hint. The bookshelf is closer to the entrance than here. Okay, so let's go right ahead and go straight to this person right here. Or this place right here. I thought that was going to be a person. Okay, children's book. Sweets for Pokemon. Do you want to read this? Yes, I do. It describes a delicious sweets made by heating berries in a pot. There are... There are sweets called poffins made from berries in a faraway Sinnoh region. And, po and Pokemon love them! Okay. Alrighty, so there's a memo right there. Okay. Alrighty. So, did you manage to get to here but, and without being tricked by the questions? Yes, I do. Now, this is the last question. From this bookshelf, move two backwards, move one left forward, yada yada, two forward. Move one right, and uh, this confused me. Yeah, where is it? Uh, it's right next to us. Yeah, I, I did not read this correctly. So it's going to be right here, guys. Talk to this person. I'm wondering, did you see the last memo and come to me? Yes, I do. I'll give you the last question. But can you challenge the gym leader uh, if you win against me? Yes, I do. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take on another trainer. Eat it. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and take on the Lillipup, and uh, let's go straight for the razor shell right here. Here we go, eat this razor shell. Yeah, buddy. That's right, no more razor shell. Okay, so Lillipup will coming out. We'll be coming out again. Let's just continue on right here with Sigh of the Torrent. Okay, alrighty. Let's go, razor shell for the win. Yeah, buddy. See, unstoppable. That's right. Wonder, remember, I can't, I can't remember a uh, size attack. 
I gotta go watch Ronin Warriors again just to see what its attack it's all about. So here we go again, Razor Shell. Let's get this for the win. Say goodbye to Lillipup. Yeah, buddy. Lillipup's been defeated. And Sai of the Torrent has kicked a lot of butt right here. So, you'll meet the gym leader soon. This is the last book. Now read the last book. Okay. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and read this book right here. Uh, this bookshelf for Pokemon. The Biology of a Tepig. Do you want to read this book? Yes, I do. It describes the biology of a Tepig. Flame burns inside the body and it gives off flame from its nostrils. When it's not well, it will give off only smoke. And, uh, well, there's a moment between the books. You've managed to get here. Well done! You seem to have wisdom as well as strength. I look forward to our battle. Gym Leader Lenora. Click. So, after that click, switch, all that stuff, this bookshelf starts moving and it reveals a secret pathway to Lenora, the next Gym Leader right here. So, we're gonna, we're gonna get ready right here. Remember, she is a normal type Gym Leader, so... Easy peasy lemon squeezy, or so we think. Sometimes normal type Pokemon are the the ones that you have to look out for. So let's see. I'm gonna go with the first. Well, the first Pokemon I'm gonna go for is Ace right here. It will be all right, but we just gotta be aware that you know Nora is a tricky one when she does come out with her last Pokemon. So here it is. Welcome, the director of the Nacreen Museum and the Nacreen Gym Leader is me, Lenora. Well then, Challenger. I'm going to research how you battle with the uh, Pokemon you've uh, you've so lovingly raised. So here it is, guys. Gym battle number two against Lenora. Okay, so let's go. Bring it on. So here it is. There's Lenora looking all beefy, all hot, all nice and lovely right here. And she will be coming out with her per Pokemon Herdier right here. And I got my own Herdier, so it's female and male, and she does have Intimidate on this Herdier, so that right there is kind of screwing me over a little. So going on to the next screen right here, yes guys, we're doing this again. We are battling Gym Leader Lenora, and your prize will be the basic badge. Now, going into her Pokemon right here, she does start off with a level 18 Herdier, a female. It does have Intimidate, as you probably already noticed. It has four attacks, Leer, Bite, Take Down, and Retaliate. Now, this Pokemon is a very physical Pokemon because you guys already know, we have a Herdier ourselves. Very physical, very, very strong, if trained correctly. Now, going into the next Pokemon right here, Watchog. This is the Pokemon you have to watch out for. Hence the name, Watchog. It is a normal type Pokemon. It has the ability to Luminate. It doesn't have any held item or anything, but it's at level 20. It does have Hypnosis, Leer, Crunch, and Retaliate. Hypnosis right there will screw you over, and she will do it plenty of times. So if you guys don't remember, back when I was Draven XC711 and I first battled this lady, she hypnosis me like about six or seven times. So make sure to stock up on a lot of awakenings, okay? So, as you can see right there down below, the Pokemon that you can do or you can't use to beat these two Pokemon, fighting type Pokemon. So, going back into this screen right here, let's go Rock Smash. Yeah, buddy. Look at that looking all strong and everything and she will be coming out with her takedown attack and that takes a huge chunk oh damn okay so let's go rock smash again I could use the, the work up just to uh, just to power up a little and uh, here we go again with another takedown and this Pokemon right here okay so let's go ahead and use work up she will be using a super potion of course okay work up right here okay so that's a good one right there alrighty so our attack and special attack has risen and I will be healing up my Pokemon since I do have a well I do have a speed the speed advantage right here so let's go right ahead heal up my ace yeah buddy you're back to normal okay and she will be using another takedown and uh, oh crud so I, I guess I should I wanted to use it work up one more time just to help us out right here because maybe just maybe we can actually use ace against uh, Watchog after this so as you can see speed up just a little bit and yeah she's hurting herself as well so now I'm just gonna heal up my Pokemon one more time with this super potion don't worry guys I do have waters just in case we go you know something goes uh, bad and here he goes again with another takedown oh my god you're, you're, you're not doing any, any anything to me. You're nothing. So here we go. Rock Smash. Hopefully for the win. And there you go. 
Watch or Herdier has been defeated. And Ace nearly grows to level 22. And she will be coming out with a Watch Hog right here. So this is the one we have to worry about because she will be using Hypnosis. And as you can see, she will use her research skills in winning this match. Let's go ahead and use that Rock Smash. And of course, eh, Watch Hog's a little faster than us, but we make that first move before he puts us to sleep. And here comes that Retaliate. It becomes even more powerful when its ally Pokemon uh, faints. So just be aware of that. And as you can see, Watchog defeated. Ace wins. Fatality. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. And Ace grows to level 22. And uh, that's the end of that story. Hell yes. My theory about you is so correct. You're, uh, you're more than just talented. And I just... Couldn't read the rest of <laughs> couldn't read the rest of that stuff. So, your fighting style is enchanting and it's charming. You are a Pokemon trainer worthy of receiving this basic badge. So there it is, guys. Our second badge, the basic badge. Man, ten episodes, two badges. I wonder how far we can go with this right here. Look at that. Oh yes. Okay. So we got the basic badge right here. If you're if you have two badges, traded up to or traded Pokemon up to level thirty will obey you. Here, I want you to have this TM as well. And we get ourselves the TM67 Retaliate. A very, very good move if your Pokemon faints a lot. Uh, okay, Retaliate does a lot more damage if an ally fainted the turn before you use it. If your master, or if you master the timing, you can defeat even strong opponents. That is true. Deer! And by the sound of that music, it sounds pretty bad. Deer, come quickly! Team Plasma is threatening to steal the Sun Bones. What? What's going on? Draven, you come too! Okay, well, we got some stuff going on right here. Holy crud. Holy crud. Okay, so we got some stuff. Okay, before we do anything, let's go right ahead and take a look at this uh, new badge right here. Look at that. That's two badges in all. I'm very, very, very happy about this one right here. Okay, so that's that right there. And now, we just got to go see what's going on outside because this is ridiculous right here. So, let's go right here. And uh, what do we got? Oh, damn. Team Plasma's here. Now you wait enough fooling around. Hmm. We're going to be... Pl okay. So if you come, Gym Leader, we, Team Plasma, claim this museum's Dragon Skull in the name of Team or Pokemon Liberation. And, uh, well, to show you we're serious, we'll steal it right before your eyes. And, uh, well... Well, then, here's our smoke screen. Plasma, Plasma, Plasma. Bam. And next thing you know, they just, wow. That is impressive. How they can do that, I don't know. They must be ninjas or something. Ninjutsu. Oh yeah, she's not happy at all. What's going on? She's looking around. And, uh, well, the hubby's right here. He's like, oh, oh, we have to go after them. Okay. Draven to the rescue. Hell yes. Fresh after two gym badges right here. And, uh, well, once we step outside, Lenora's looking left and right right here. For Team Plasma. And here comes a mysterious character. Good day, Lenora. Find any good fossils lately? And she's like, this is a, a surprise visit. Are you suffering from artist block again? Hmm. Okay. Draven. This is Berg. He may not look like it, but he's a Castalia City's gym leader. And then uh, he's like, ah. Just looking for a change of pace. Seems hectic or something around here. What's up? What's up? Someone just walked away with uh, with uh, with an exhibit. That's what's up. And, uh, well, here comes our friends. Here's Bianca. Oh, hi, Draven. What's going on here? Or what's everybody doing here? <laughs> and, of course, Sharon has to come. Draven, is there some kind of problem? Yeah, of course there's some kind of problem. Somebody just stole a relic. And these two are... Oh, your friends. Dot, dot, dot. Bianca, Charon. Oh, I see. They're trainers. Okay, then. Let's split up and search a... I'll head the way uh, this way. Okay, she's going to be going that way. Everyone! Charon and Bianca, I want you to stay here in the, at the museum. Berg and Draven, you two search Pinwheel Forest. Got it? Berg, you show the way. I'm counting on you, everyone. Okay, alrighty. So we're going to be doing this. Berg's like, uh-uh. You are Draven, isn't it? Are you... Are you raring to round up our robbers? Well, fuck yeah. I mean... I am the main character right here. And uh, a girl, Bianca, right here is like, Oh, oh, Draven, take this with you. Fennel gave this, uh, gave this uh, dowsing machine to give to you. And so, here we have another item, pretty cool item. The dowsing machine. It actually helps us uh, discover some hidden items around here. Now, what did you tell me? Um, you can use the dowsing machine to find places where items are hidden. So you can find stuff you can't see. 
And then Charen is like, for now, all we need to do is to protect the museum, right? Yes, you do. Now go over there. Leave me alone. I'm talking to Bianca. Hey, wait for me! Never mind. She wants to go too. Okay, so that is pretty much it right there, guys. In the next episode, we're going to be going after Team Plasma and uh, the Pokemon Skull. We're going to be encountering a lot of new stuff right there. So excited. Two badges in all. Ten episodes. Very, very happy. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.